Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to, and what was that card, the one that come out? Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for March 29th to April 4th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. This is the card that wanted to pop out here, Virgo, as I was shuffling there. It just really wanted to pop out. Okay, so the Ace of Wands, what does that mean? It means that there is some potential passionate energy coming out for you guys. A uh, new beginning here, passionate beginning here with the Ace of Wands energy. Someone is rushing in here with the Eight of Wands energy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see how this is going to play out in your reading. Okay, so we're going to cover your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the black studies and challenges, and then the overall outcome. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on my Virgos romantic love life for March 29th to April 4th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck one. What's gonna have my Virgo's romantic love life for March 29th to April 4th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck two. What's gonna have my Virgo's romantic love life for March 29th to April 4th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You guys are gonna come out of a bad situation. Uh, there's gonna be a sense of happiness here in your situation, but let's go see how this is gonna play out for your reading. So first we're gonna do the day to days. Okay, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, three of pentacles, 10 of wands, temperance, two of pentacles, and oh, it comes out again. Oh my God, there you go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's gonna be by the fourth, okay. So, uh, yeah, obviously this is your day-to-day, -day, right? So this is going to be March 29th, 30th, 31st, April 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, okay? So, and this is your love interest feelings. And this is the blockage for this week, okay? Star card. Okay, the star card's there. Okay, so, and interesting. That's the overall energy, the devil. Okay, someone's really strongly attached to you. They got a lot of obsessive energy going on there. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys are lacking some kind of hope though in your situation with the star card energy. All right, and we see you're concerned about love and some indecisions here with the, eight, the two of swords energy. Okay, so let's see how this is gonna play out in your rating here, okay. All right, so also Virgo, you can feel free to cross watch for more information. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign. So we can see the first day here on April, excuse me, March 29th, there's a person that wants to hold on to you, okay? Four pentacles energy. They want to save you. They want to hold on to you. Mm -hmm. They're like being greedy about it. They're like, okay, I'm, no, I want to hold on to Virgo. Virgo is mine, okay? Virgo is mine. So let's see what that's about. There's something unexpected that's gonna happen where this person's gonna like, Virgo, I wanna hold on to you, okay? I wanna hold on to you because I'm ready to make the effort with you, all right? I wanna hold on to you and make the effort. So that's gonna be happening on the 29th. And so it's like, I wanna invest time. You know, I put a lot of time into this already, Seven of Pentacles energy for some of you or for others of you. It's like, I wanna invest time in this connection, Seven of Pentacles energy. I'm, I'm concerned. I don't want to be concerned. I don't want to be worried here about this opportunity of true love, renewed love, Ace of Cups energy. So I want to make the effort because, hey, Virgo, I love you. And then we see, let's work together. Let's build this, okay? Let's, let's, let's do this. And then we see that there is house and family, all right, close to home. A sense of stability and stableness. Um, um, mm -hmm, some passionate stuff going on there close to home. Okay. Um, so we see. So far, so good, right? They want to make the effort because of love and passion. Okay. And chemistry. Okay. Um, okay. So you may want to watch out for April 1st there. April 1st seems to be, you guys are kind of like, 
you get you're getting caught up in like responsibilities and burdens and things are weighing heavy on you with the ten of wands energy okay so be careful about that energy okay so because it's like you're gonna keep going forward and you're gonna be like oh god i'm overwhelmed okay what am i gonna do here yeah then we see the recovery card you guys are gonna be in the mode of like oh my god i'm just so overwhelmed and i need to recover from this okay and it's because it's something to do with uh, you're ready for some big changes here or something that's a big change for you. Okay, so we're gonna go further on this when I go down and we're gonna look into the overall outcome to see exactly what that's about. So we see that the next day here on the second, it's a very healing energy. You can see you guys are being patient. Things are coming into balance for you. Um, and we see what's that about? There's some advice, either you're giving advice or you're getting advice here, how to heal the situation, how to bring things into balance when it comes to your sense of confusion here. Okay, so then on this day, on the third, it looks like there's some juggling going on about some kind of decision going on there, like back and forth or maybe a work-life uh, balance that's an issue here. Because I feel like some of you, work is really gonna overwhelm you here on that day. So, and we see right what's below, like, all right, how can I balance this situation and also my work situation for some of you? I'm doing some juggling here, but I keep thinking about them. I keep thinking about them and they're on my mind. Virgo's on my mind and I wanna cut away these things that have been holding me back, all right? So confusion and cutting away this confusion. And then we see Virgo. Mm -hmm. We see here that there is gonna be some passion energy coming in for you guys, Ace of Wands. So potential passion, renewed passion, Ace of Wands energy on the fourth. Let's get more information about that, exactly what that's about here. Okay, so we can see, mm -hmm, yeah, there's some passion exercise <laughs> coming in for you on the fourth there. We see the lover's card coming out. Mm -hmm. That represents two people coming together. Mm -hmm. Some kind of commitment, okay, towards a passionate energy, okay. So going further. Oh my God, you know the song that came into my mind is like uh, that Mariah Carey song, Obsession. Why are you so... I can't sing, I'm not gonna... You guys know, you'll tell me in the comments below. All right, so there's an obsession going on here. Okay, so Virgo, it's like, I wanna make the effort here. I really do love you and there's chemistry and passion. It's really shocking and surprising and there's still the sense of confusion, but you know, it's cut away or cut out and there's a sense of strong attachment, strong desire here, okay? Okay. So a lot of strong desire, strong attachments. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's keep going, Virgo. All right, let's move this out of the way. And let's see. All right, something unexpected happened that caused some concerns when it comes to house and family. And we see there was some recovery that happened and some advice. And this person kept thinking about you, thinking about you, thinking about you in having a relationship or having this love connection. Okay. Okay. All right. I wanna hold on to and invest time in this work together. There's a lot of burdens and responsibility that we need to heal. And we made to make a heavy decision here, Two of Pentacles energy. And then we see there's a new opportunity, a renewed opportunity of passion coming in, Ace of Wands energy. Okay. All right, Virgo. Okay, so let's see how your love interest feels. Your love interest, Virgo, feels that they want a victory. They want your attention, but they feel like their hands are tied because a decision needs to be made, justice. This person, a new situation, something to do with stopping and completing because of something of value, okay. So your person is like, all right, um, they feel like they want to end, okay, I wanna say this in the right way, end the childishness, okay. Or they wanna end something to do with uh, a new situation for something of value in this connection, okay. So going further, this person wants to be patient here. They miss you, okay? And they know that something has to be feel, healed. Healed with family, right? Some kind of conflict with family needs to be healed. So this person's like, all right, look, I just want this ending of this stuck energy here to stop. 
I want this stuck energy to stop because I miss you. And I'm trying to be patient for a new beginning, a fresh start here, and I'm trying to be patient here. I want something of value here because of a decision here to resolve conflict and heal the situation. Okay. Okay, so we see the star cards here, and we see a victory, and we see healing. Okay, so it's like a lack of hope in getting someone's attention, a lack of hope because of feeling like, all right, how am I gonna have a victory here, here if, if things aren't still healed? Something still needs to be healed around this situation. Okay, so let's keep going, let's keep going. Overall outcome, hangman. Three of Wands, Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. So something you've been waiting for is now coming in, right? There's been a stuck and stagnant energy going on here, right? That's the hangman. And now something has come in. Something has come in that you've been waiting for. And we see that there's romance happening with the Knight of Cups energy. Actions towards romance and kind gestures. That's the Knight of Cups energy. So we see travel, Movement or change, we see the main person and an intimate setting, okay? So the main person could be you, could be the love interest, okay? So so for some of you, there's something long distance going on, okay? Some kind of travel or some kind of long distance that's been leaving a situation pretty stuck and stagnant. Uh, and now something you've been waiting for is coming in. There is a romantic situation happening in an intimate place or a private place, okay? So we see, oh my God, I'm so happy. Ten of Cups energy. There's something of value here, and I'm making a power move, asserting myself. Okay, going further. There's been isolation because of travel, and now the isolation is being taken away. And it's something sudden, something sudden is gonna happen for you guys. We see things are moving in your favor. Sudden wealth, something happening for you guys. Going further, yes, Empress. Now the Empress could be saying this isolation could be because of money, okay? But we see there's a relationship here, and ha, oh, look at that, an offer. An offer, a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles energy, a relationship and a new offer, a new beginning here. Something sudden about this because of this power move. Mmm, okay, all right, all right, okay. All right, my darlings. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another date or two. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon. There's multiple reads for you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys.